what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel <sighs> got a lot of the office work done today but i need to go pick up some hay the horses are about out of it and i don't want to go tomorrow tomorrow's my birthday so uh when you guys will be seeing this will be my birthday and i'm going to take the day off kind of hang with maddie so i want to get all the chores done all the things that are on my to-do list i need to get all that done and uh and then i'll be excited and maybe have a little bit of a break for my birthday so come with me into the feed store it doesn't look like it's well i guess there are quite a few people here there's usually i don't know two or three people here at least and it uh, looks like they got a big load going out so we're just gonna back in and get some feed got the hay all loaded and uh as you can see in the back we're gonna head to the house and get changed and then i've got a uh a fence to fix and i've got to unload all this hay and then I'm probably gonna kick the boys out into the pasture and uh, get to clean their uh, turnouts a little bit. Picked up the wife and two pups. Onto unloading the hay. They just kind of threw it in here, didn't they? Yep, they sure did. <laughs> All right, first task is to get all the hay unloaded and then we'll move on to other things. Now yep, boys, y'all wanna go down and uh, eat some grass in the pasture? No, just in that one over there. Well, the wind has really picked up quite a bit. We've got a, uh, a cold front coming in and it's crazy to think, Maddie was telling me this uh, this morning, is it's crazy to think that one year ago today it was snow apocalypse here in texas and then now it's now it's like uh, 70 degrees and and breezy but we are going to have a little bit of a cold front that comes through this evening it'll get down into the 30s but nothing like last year Smoke is basically wild at this point, and he loves it. Jade girl, here. Jade, here. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Hey, come here. Sit. Lie down. Jade, lie down. Good girl. Okay. Now, I was even contemplating to myself, like, Barrett, why are you gonna go fix a fence today? There's not even any cattle or anything over here. But this is exactly why, and this is literally just a strange coincidence. There are two wild dogs that always happen to come over here. And uh, yeah. We've had animal control uh, come out multiple times. They've killed a couple of deer. And uh, they're just a, a really big nuisance. And somehow they keep getting out. We keep calling animal control and then they keep coming back over here. And they're not that big of a deal other than they kill deer, which is not good. But the first time that they go after horses, um, that's a really bad deal. And uh, I just don't like them being this close. So I guess we're just gonna have to call animal control again. While we're waiting for animal control, I guess I will get to unloading some hay. nice local animal patrol just left and uh the dogs actually ran off they uh they ran back through the fence and then they ran onto this neighboring property so they're gonna go try to find them but while they do that i'm actually gonna fix this fence um that way we can be done with it once and for all i don't know that they've gotten in the same way each and every time but i'm just kind of over it so we'll get it fixed come on pups All right, now we need tools. 
And I did want to say a huge thank you to everybody that tunes in to these videos. Um, sometimes I, I don't really feel quite motivated to make them because I feel like I do the same thing each and every time. But I uh, really appreciate everybody watching this channel and supporting us. I'm going to try to do more videos. I really enjoy flexing that creative muscle and, and filming them and editing them and getting them uploaded and launching them on YouTube. Um, I really just can't thank you guys enough. So if you're watching this, thank you so much. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, it really does help us out and it really helps kind of motivate me to make more of these. So um, yeah, that's it. Let's get to fix some fence. Grab one of these. Let's see. Let's grab this. Since I don't really know where this hole is, I don't want to bring too much out, just in case it's a little repair. Um, you want to go with me? All right. Guess Jade's coming. Uh, if it's a really big hole that we're going to have to get more um, fencing material, then I'll come back to this shop. But for now, let's just see what we got. What I think I'm going to do is just leave this here and uh, we'll walk this fence line real quick. Because there is a little bit of a hole, but it's not big enough for like an axis or, or any other deer to get in here. But I think those dogs did escape right there. Let's just, uh, let's just work this fence line a little bit and see if we can't find something more substantial. Well, Jade, I think we found it, huh? Yeah. This, it's a good size hole. Hey. Yeah, and see right there? That is a deer that they have killed at some point in the past. But, I mean, Jade's easily getting through that. Hi, hi. Come back in here. So, and it looks like. Uh, there's another hole that they patched up a while back but yeah i mean look that's it's all the way down all the way back up there's a bunch of old wire over here and what i want to try to do is just cut out like a, a big square of it and then use that to fix them in the fence Let's just hope that this piece is big enough that I cut enough material because if not, I'm going to be pissed. You know, one thing that I really miss about the ranch is fixing fences. Now, I don't think I really missed it then and I wouldn't miss it if I had to do it full time, but there's something about fixing fences that is a little bit meditative almost and uh, it's kind of fun. I love using tools, working with my hands, getting dirty, so fortunately this is just a very minor small project so it's therapeutic in a way well it's certainly not the prettiest thing in the world but It'll do the job and that's exactly what we need. So I'm gonna call that a win and move on to the next task. Now, the number one rule of ranching is to put stuff back where you found it. So that's what I'm doing. That's the number one rule of ranching other than like, don't leave the gate open. Maybe that's the number one rule. Number one rule, don't leave the gate open. Number two rule, put stuff back where you found it. It's getting a little chilly, and uh, I obviously did not bring a jacket because I wasn't expecting this. So, I'm gonna feed a little bit earlier than I normally would. And uh, in instead of having to go out and get those horses, I'm just going to, uh, I'm gonna show you the easiest trick to get a horse to come to you, and that's shake a feed bucket, obviously.
Look at you too. Didn't even have to go get you. I'm telling you, you just appeal to these horses' stomachs and uh, their appetite. You can get them to do a lot of stuff. Come on, bub. Go ahead. Don't mind me just watching. And of course, Jade watching. Bo, come on. So I don't know if you guys are like this, um, but I certainly am. I watch more YouTube than probably any other entertainment, like any other streaming platform or um, any sort of you know regular TV. I, I just, I don't know. There's something about YouTube and content creators and people that are constantly uploading videos that I really just love. So, and I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite channels, the channels that I watch on a daily basis, because I think as content creators, we need to continue to help each other grow and push each other's platforms and, and channels. So one of my favorite channels that I watch is Justin Rhodes. I also watch Anchor Brand Ranch. I also watch the farm on route 66 rodeo reed which is a big channel that i've watched for a long long time i've probably watched reed and amy for like i don't know four or five years at least uh, the other channel that i started watching is called the farmer's wife and uh, that's a fantastic channel and and there's quite a bit more but those are really the channels that i watch a lot of so check them out i'll put them in the description below so check those channels out let me know what you think uh, comment on their videos and let them know that we sent you and uh, that way we can help other creators and they can help us and, and uh, we'll just continue to put out content. These dogs have been running so much. Jade is panting like crazy and Bo is like barely breathing. Stay. Sit. Stay. Look at you. Hmm. Okay. These dogs love running. It's insane. Absolutely insanity. Okay. Since it is going to get cold, we are going to blanket tonight. You got a big old stick, dude. 